Number two says, what is the torque generated by a 220 Newton force? Applied perpendicular to a door, 0 0.5 meters from its hinge. And so in this case, torque equals, and in this case, what's theta? 90. 90 degrees, so a sine of 90 is one, so this just goes away. We're really just F times R. I hope you brought a calculator. This one we can do in our heads, though. So 220 times 0.5 times a half is 110. And what are the units on this? Um, yeah, Newton meter. It's just a Newton meter. No special unit given to it outside of that. So units of torque here, Newton meter. Cool, number three deals with the same door. So, but now the force we're going to apply is at an angle of 30 degrees. So still 220 Newtons, still 0.5 meters from the hinge. So on the question is now how much torque is generated? Half. Yeah, because sine of 30 is a half. Sometimes you have to solve for the angle as well. And so what do we get for numerical value here? Yeah. 55 Newton meters. So going back to the same door we had in problem number two here. So a 220 Newton force is applied perpendicularly. 0.5 meters from the hinge on this door again. So if the moment of inertia of this door is 100 kilogram meters squared. Question is, what is the resulting angular acceleration of the door? And so now we know the torque. We already figured it out in problem two. So and if I want the angular acceleration, what equation relates the two? The I alpha. Yeah, some of the torques equals I alpha here. And what was our torque in this case? Um, yeah. Awesome. 1.1 1 .1 what? Radians per second per second or radians per second squared.